the more your bed it makes sense. That's my advice for anybody. It's all about impact. Shock you more. I'll shock you. We are building a stadium. We are doing a stadium project. It's multi billions. It's the grace of God. And so, what we are right now is our temporary place. We are going to the stadium very soon. So, um, we are the game changers. We are here to change the narrative of the gospel. It's not the gospel of just churchism. We must understand the fact that it's all about impact. So, we, we must have this um, a more, a more social friendly church setting. So, we are here to celebrate. Even Muslims came today and they were all celebrated. My, my assistance is God. God provides per second. The last match we sponsored was half a million. The last match we sponsored here was half a million about that. And it's just God that keeps providing. So, um, myself and my team, the whole church, one big house. We are together. Pick as one, we are 100,000. I come as one, but I stand as hundreds. Look at the crowd around me. That's what happens. I came as one, but I stand as thousands and millions. So it's not all about you, the body around you. So my, my advice for the ones coming up, make impact. Have a mentor, get mentored, be disciplined, be focused. The sky is not your limit, the sky is the beginning. I love you. Bye-bye. God, Prophet David Angel, is a wonderful man of God. He's um, a man sent by God from heaven to us, to mankind, to deliver mankind. Angel One is highly loaded with the power of God and is filled with the Spirit of God. He has been an instrument for the deliverance of many in this Nigeria, in this land we are. So I have that confidence to tell you that our daddy, Angel One, whom we are celebrating his birthday today, has been a wonderful man to mankind and is a, indeed a gift from God unto man. I was invited and God also touched me. I had issues when I came, but as I'm talking to you today, those issues have been resolved. I would like to enjoin you to try as much as you can to come to Joshua Generation International. It's a very, very big day for us here in the Joshua Generation. Uh, uh, we're celebrating the birthday of uh, uh, the General of Asia, Dr. Bishop David Angel, the achievers of the year. Because most people, if I may say, uh, they, they've achieved a lot and nobody seems to recognize them. So here, the, this church decided to celebrate them as well. I believe is that uh, uh, the, the, the Christ came for everybody not just for the church so that is why he's able to you know get people together with uh, like the achievers award is another method of getting people to christ to know the love of god and then he he, he tend to build a stadium also it, it tends to use the sports world to bring people closer to God. Because if you look around, everybody are lovers of sports. Both Muslims, both Christians, they are lovers of sports. So by the time we build this stadium, by the time we give an award, by the time we do events like this, people come around, either Muslim or Christian, they, that message of love, which God has, which God gave his sons for, will be able to reach out to everybody. Because there are some people outside there, you want to preach to them, they will like, oh, I'm a Muslim, oh, I am this. They don't want to hear. But by the time we bring up events like this, like the award, like the stadium and other things, you will see people will begin to understand the reason why he sent his son to come and die. I give all glory to God Almighty. I'm not a member of this uh, ministry. But I was invited to be one of the awardees for great achievers. So I here I am today. And this is the award given to me as one of the achievers. So I give God glory for the grace. Pray that they will never go back, they will never lack. Rather, God Almighty will continue to increase them more and more. With this award, I have just been presented to the elected chairman of the Area Council. In fact, I'm glad and I'm happy receiving this award on behalf of my chairman. Generous to the public. Already he's a man of the people. Because when I met him, the first time I met him, I knew that this man is going to do something. And he's already preparing to build a stadium in Kujia Area Council. 
for sport activities. You see, that is going to bring the youth together. That is where the youth will go and exercise and do exercise to be fit in order to serve God better.